Welcome back. As I said, there is more than one way to deal with Trelane. And one interesting other way of doing it is to convince him that his um, parents are coming back. Although it is not actually his parents that show up, it is his nanny, as you will see. And this is hinted at both in what uh, Mr. Trellis said and what Scott told us when scanning that there is more than one powerful life form, so somebody other than Trelane. So let's try and do that. Well, Captain, I suppose you're about to make your grand plan of escape. You must think you're pretty clever, Trelane, with your replica of the First World War. Why should I have to make a grand plan? I don't have to do anything. Eventually, your parents are going to find you and discipline you again. So we want to pick this option. Fortunately, Kirk, my parents are otherwise occupied. They won't interrupt me when I'm winning. But you have to compete first before you can win. Send the others away safely, and I'll give you a chance at revenge. That's odd. I was sure I detected other power sources converging towards us when I was on the Enterprise. Which is sort of true. So we'll pick that one. No, you didn't. It's nowhere near me. But there's no harm in making sure we aren't seen. Trelane! Oh, no, she saw me. Kirk, you tricked me. That's not fair. It's not fair. Trelane, can I never turn my back for one nanosecond? You know your parents didn't want you running off with any more planets. But we haven't finished playing yet. We haven't. Things were just getting good. Getting good? Look at the mess you've made. You know these primitive vessels aren't supposed to be shrunk like this. But that's my collection. You can't take them away. You can't. Captain, I'm sorry about this. Trelane's been warned before. I guess we'll have to put him in a place where he can't get to this dimension. That would be appreciated. Your ships will be restored to normal. I'm sorry about this, Captain. You can't guess how much trouble he is. Actually, I think I can. Captain's log. The missing starships have been restored to normal size and are about to return to their assigned missions. Well, now that we've taken care of business... Ow! I'll have to see Dr. McCoy about my shoulder. Something happened, Captain? Mr. Ellis and I. I see. Are your differences settled? I'm afraid not, Mr. Spock. We each won a game of zero-G squash, but I'm afraid he was called back to the Zimbabwe before we could have a rubber match. I think I dislocated my shoulder with a rather wild swing in the second game. Then logic suggests that your injury would have caused you to lose the match. I suppose so. He's a good player and a good officer. I'm putting in a request to bring him on the Enterprise. That should be fascinating. Hello, Captain. I'm Captain Gernsbeck of the Shinobi. I thought I would thank you personally before we left for Cephas V. A pleasure to meet you, Captain. Have we met before, Captain? There's something familiar. Perhaps we did, on some other planet, in some other star system, sometime long ago. Message from Starfleet Command. On screen. I have reviewed your report from your recent assignment, Captain, and have a few comments. I am very pleased with your performance. It was a perfect mission, Jim. Your reputation as Starfleet's best starship captain is secure. Kane out. So as you can see, the rest of the ending plays out the same, and you still get a perfect Captain's score. Log. And is it me, or did Trelane's nanny look an awful lot like Mary Poppins? Anyway, we'll continue with your regularly scheduled Let's Play in the next video.